Good morning, family. I want to thank God. I want to thank King Jesus. I want to thank the Holy Spirit and the angels for another day, another opportunity to be here with you to spread love, peace, joy, truth, and hope to all who are watching. Praise God. You know, uh, today, um, Holy Spirit uh, led me to loving thy enemies. Uh, you know, I, when I, I, you know, when you see things from your carnal uh, mind, and then when God wakes you up, and, and and then you see things through your spiritual eyes, you know, things don't look the same. They they they're different. You know, because uh, let me give you an example. For like, you know, back in the day, you know, Malcolm X and Ma Martin Luther King. Malcolm X was, you know, he's like, I'm fighting my enemies, you know, and uh, Martin Luther King, you know, is like. Uh, 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 in you know peace you know uh not uh non uh what's it what is it uh non uh violence and uh and i didn't really understand that but now i do you know when you wake up and you see things you know through your spiritual view uh martin luther king was letting god fight you know and uh so you know that's what i'm doing you know that's what it says here in the bible you know love our enemies we love ourselves because then we open up and allow god to fight for us because he's going to do a better job fighting for us than we will. Because still, you know, the people who are our enemies, they're God's children as well. We're all God's children. So, you know, God wants to give them a chance, you know, to uh, to uh, change their mind, you know, before we take them out. You know, because when we fight, we're going to take you out. And uh, God's like, hold on. I'm not ready for you to take them out. They still got a chance. So, you know, God's giving you a chance, enemies. Uh, take that chance. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this is a uh, Matthew uh Six, uh, forty-three, forty-eight. The synopsis. Uh, when we love our enemies, we can be sure that we are making progress in recovery, and that recovery can be from anything. It can be from drugs, you know, uh, uh, sexual addiction, ego. Ego is probably the biggest one. You know, that that one to get you. Uh, that one to make you lose your uh, ride on, on the uh, clouds with God, with Jesus. Praise God. Loving your enemies doesn't mean you have to like them, but it does mean you must forgive them and desire what is best for them. So, you know, like I say, you know, I know who I am beyond this physical being. So, you know, I want everyone to rise with Jesus, you know. So uh, I, I still love my enemies, you know. Uh, some of them are family members. I still love you. I want, you know, I don't want y'all to miss that. I don't want none, nobody, you know, to uh, be in everlasting uh, torment and torture. So uh, get on that, get on God's God's team, you know. Love your neighbor, love your family. Don't hurt your fa family or your, or your neighbors, because uh, that's not what God said. He said love. He said love your neighbor as you love yourself. Praise God. If we harbor anger and bitterness towards others, we hurt only ourselves. Such emotions keep us from making progress in recovery. God loves us while we were still His enemies. I have sinned so many times, and but see, God knows my heart. He knows your heart, you know. And all we have to do is just be willing and, and make steps, you know, to uh to to move forward. You know, He knows He knows what thought we're gonna think before we think it, what action we're gonna take before we take it. But and also He knows our heart. So you know, you have people out here, you know, that will uh that will 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 portray being you know a, a follower of jesus or a christian but they're acting but, but but their heart's not their heart space is wrong you know they're, they're trying to put one over you can't put one over on god you can't put one over on jesus holy spirit they they know <laughs> you're only putting it over you're only putting it over on yourself because uh if, if you don't change that you're gonna be uh looking up while the rest of us rise don't be one of those looking up you know with that sinking feeling knowing you missed your ride catch that ride praise god he loves us even though we are far from perfect, far from perfect. But, you know, all we have to do is have that heart space right, and uh, it'll be all right. Praise God. Recovery is not perfectionism. It is developing the ability to follow God and to shape our decisions and actions according to his will for us. So, you know, all we have to do is just uh, seek God's will. These mosquitoes tear me up out here, y'all. You know, me and Kong getting ready to do some running. But I, I had to get out here and uh, share, the, share the word, share the message. Spread the love, baby. Ain't nothing like having some love. Ooh, I feel your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's working through me, y'all. 
if we're gonna get this thing done in, in Satan, ain't nothing you can do to stop it. Praise God. But anyway, let me say I love you. God bless you. There's no relationship greater than the one with the glorious creator. Let love reign in your life and have a blessed day.